Hey, this is Mike with the Tactical Llama. Today we're coming to you with a new firearm we have not seen on the channel before. The Smith & Wesson Response. Here we go. This is a uh, 9mm pistol caliber carbine rifle that came out a few months back from Smith & Wesson. We were able to get a hold of one from the Guns Warehouse here in Cedar Park, Texas. So if you get a chance, go ahead and check them out. I'll put a link in the description to their website and their Facebook. Go ahead and follow them. And if you're looking for a great firearm, they have a huge selection of new, used rifles, shotguns, lever action, pistols, um, and a great group of folks over there. So, again, check out the Guns Warehouse in Cedar Park, Texas. Now, they did not uh, provide this rifle to me. We bought it <clears throat> with our own funds. So, there's no uh, looking for a specific type of review uh, this is coming straight from the Tactical Llama and what we think. So, let's start with what's in the box. <clears throat> First thing in the box is the rifle. Now, obviously, this scope does not come with it. We had it out at the range. We did our initial shots, so you're going to see a lot of shooting through this. We did about 300 rounds through this rifle with no problems. So just a quick look at it, and then I'm gonna give you some specs and my thoughts. <clears throat> what else is in the box? So these are my pocket. This one comes with two 23 round magazines. <clears throat> it also comes with some magazine. Um, these are uh, just some covers that you can put over the magazine, kind of fills the gap in, I'll talk about that. It comes with M-Lock covers, which are pretty cool. These snap onto the rail. If you wanna fill in the M-Lock and make the rail a little tighter feeling. <clears throat> comes with three sets of palm swells. So medium, large, large, and small. It comes with your lock, your manual, and the coolest thing about this rifle is it takes Glock magazines. This is the Smith & Wesson Flex magazine system. We're gonna talk about that. All right, so let's get this box out of the way. All that stuff out of the way. Let's talk about this rifle. So, one of the things you're gonna notice right away is this rifle is polymer. The handguard or rail, the upper receiver, the lower receiver, the buttstock, and the grip, obviously polymer. It's metal where it counts. The barrel and some internals, the bolts, but inside, that is all polymer in there, y'all. So I was, we were a little apprehensive when we got this. We're like, ooh, all polymer. Can it really be that good of a rifle? Yes, it can. It was awesome. So we're gonna go from kind of the buttstock all the way up to the front. So the buttstock is an adjustable buttstock. This is from Magpul. Um, 
probably gonna swap this out to a B5 systems, to be honest. I like Magpul, but I really, really like the B5. Comes with a uh, quick detach sling point. Moving forward, this is all your normal AR-15 buffer tube. So if you want to swap that out, you can. Um, the castle net also, if you want to replace this, you can. It's been staked. So Smith & Wesson stakes their castle nuts. Moving forward is your Smith & Wesson grip. This is the grip they put on all their M&Ps. So you can swap this out. The safety is your AR-15 safety. It is not ambidextrous, but you can swap that out. The trigger is a mil-spec trigger, but it is a flat face trigger. A little bit of creep, and then bang. The reset, not bad at all. Um, I've seen people two and a half to about three and a half pound trigger pull. The bolt release is your AR-15 standard bolt release. The charging handle is a mil-spec charging handle. Now, it is, it is kind of wide, but if you don't like that, you can swap that out for any um, AR-15 um, charging handle that you want. So basically, everything about this rifle can be swapped out, the AR-15 parts. <clears throat> Moving forward, it has a full Picatinny rail across the top. The rifle, the, the front hand guard is M-Lock. It is a 16 and a half inch barrel, threaded one by 10, I believe. And it has a removable um, thread protector. This is half by 28, so you can put a um, suppressor on it if you want now back to what's really really um, awesome about this rifle is the magazine it comes with like I said the 23 round Smith & Wesson magazines but the the Smith & Wesson which is just I can't say a good enough good things about them for, for doing this they created their magazine flex system. So if you have Glock magazines, you can take this right here, pull it off, comes off really easy, swap it for your Glock magazines, and now you have a PCC from Smith & Wesson that uses Glock magazines. Really, really cool. And from what I understand, Smith & Wesson is going to be making other uh, flex magazines for this rifle. So we took it out there. We shot, I guess at 300 rounds, various people shot it. Everyone was just so, so impressed with this rifle. <laughs> Gotta love that. It is a blowback system. Um, it's, it's awesome. So I, let me give you a few of my, my cons. I've said it's an awesome rifle, but some of the things I don't really like about the rifle. One, I hate the way the magazines look right here. This big gap, I hate it. It's ugly and it's gross. Now, <clears throat> you can put... Um, let me see how these go on here. I don't even know how these go on here. I didn't even use them. You can put these caps or covers, and it really doesn't help with anything. I, I don't, I don't, whatever. If you want to use them, you can. Another thing I don't like is, is there's a little bit of wiggle between the upper and lower receiver. Uh, back here, you can see kind of a large gap. It's more pronounced on this side, okay? And then when you look at where the front hand guard connects 
to uh, the upper up here, it's not, it's not a clean, clean look. Um, so I'm not a huge, a huge fan of that. The next thing I'm not a huge fan of, and I, they probably did it for rigidity. So we said this is all M-lock, but when you look right here in the middle, these M-lock slots are filled. You can't remove them, can't cut them out. So if you go to put a foregrip, you either gotta make it far forward or all the way back. And so that's gonna take the rifle. If you have a foregrip, it's gonna be right here or you're gonna be way out here trying to hold on to that. May not be a bother for you. I don't see the need for a foregrip. The recoil on this rifle was almost non-existent. And so when you're holding it and you're out, you, you can control this rifle without any problem. So those are some of the things uh, I'm not a huge fan of with this rifle, but, and another thing is I wish they would have put a, another sling mount up front. I don't like my slings, but way up here, when I put one on, I wish there was one back here that you could put on here. Is it gonna, sway me from liking this rifle no not at all this thing was so much fun to shoot what i like about the rifle i love the fact that everything down here is ar-15 so if you want to swap out your grip you want to swap out your safety you want to swap out your trigger you want to swap out your charging handle uh the buffer tube the 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 um, buttstock the bolt release you can swap all of that for any of your favorite AR-15 components. I love the Magazine Flex system. That is absolutely amazing. Great job, Smith & Wesson. I love the 16 and a half inch barrel and I love that it comes threaded half by 28 to put a suppressor. So there is a lot, a lot to like about this. This thing only weighs about five and a half pounds maybe a little over six when you put a, mag a full 23 round magazine in there. And it will take any of the Smith & Wesson M&P magazines that will fit. And the M&P pistol, these magazines, this will fit any of those. So if you have more of those laying around, you're, you're good to go. So do we like the Smith & Wesson response? Absolutely, we love the Smith & Wesson response. Um, I can't wait to get it back out and shoot some more. Maybe we'll have a, uh, um, a review when we get 500 to 1,000 rounds through it. And then we'll tell you if we, if we still like it. Uh, as of now, the last bolt hold open is working. Uh, I saw some videos where people said that their last um, round bolt was not holding open, and, but ours did, no problem. You'll see some of the videos where we recognize that. So, And the budget ACOG scope on here. We bought some of these really budget ones for, for giggles. Uh, we're gonna check them out. I will tell you though, we had them out on the range. We were super impressed with them. The clarity, uh, the accuracy right out of the box was pretty crazy. So we're gonna do some fun testing and reviews on this. So make sure you subscribe to look forward to those. But that's all we have right now on the Smith & Wesson response. Please make sure you like, subscribe, follow, share, whatever your socials, Tactical Llama, uh, we're on Instagram, we're on X, we're on Rumble, we have Tactical Llama Shorts, so our shorts channel, P please check us out, like and subscribe, like I said, it helps the channel so much, we enjoy doing this, and we want to keep doing it more, so please, make sure you check us out, we'll see you next time, this is Mike with the Tactical Llama.